Today is November 22nd. And on this day, in 1869, the Cutty Stark Clipper ship was launched off Dumbar Dumbarton, Scotland. The Cutty Stark was one of the last clipper ships to be built and due to innovation in materials and design was one of the fastest. And when was it? It was during this year that Thomas Paine published Common Sense. George Washington received an honorary degree from Harvard University. The term cocktail was first used in a barroom. In Russia, the Bolshoi Theater Company staged its first opera season. And the day after Christmas, Washington famously crossed the Delaware River. When was it? Well, it was way before our time, so if you know history, you will know it was 1776. And the root of the matter, the whole nine yards. To go the whole nine yards means to do your best or utmost. Some think this phrase comes from World War II, where fighter pilots were given nine yards of ammunition. When the nine yards were up, they were on their own. Others think this has to do with the amount of concrete that fits in a fully loaded concrete truck. Others believe that it refers to journalism. To tell the whole six yards of a story means to get the truth from all angles. The six yards was then exaggerated to nine. <laughs> And on this date in 1718, the English pirate Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, was killed during the Battle of the Coast of North Carolina. In 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated while riding in a motorcade in Dallas. 1977, regular passenger service on the Concorde began between New York and Europe. In 1990, Margaret Hilda Thatcher announced she would resign from her position as England's Prime Minister. She had been named Prime Minister in 1979, and no other Prime Minister in the 20th century held the post longer. She was also referred as the Iron Lady. And for the daily trivia, here's a good one. The strawberry is the only fruit with seeds on the outside of the skin. A strawberry has approximately 200 seeds. Ooh, that's a lot of seeds. And for the quote of the day, champions keep playing until they get it right. Billy Jean King said that. And today happens to be Billy Jean's birthday. He was born in 1943, is a formal professional, former professional tennis player who won an outstanding 39 Grand Slam titles in singles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. King was raised as an athletic family. Her dad was a basketball player, I'm sorry, that was a female. Her mom as a swimmer and her brother was a major league baseball pitcher. She started out playing softball before switching to tennis in her teens. In 1967, King became the top-ranked women's tennis player. Her exhibition match victory against Bobby Riggs, who had repeatedly challenged her to a game, is chronicled in the in 2017 film Battle of the Sexes. And for the special days, because every day we have a special day, today on Monday the 22nd, we have Meal Time Monday. Did you have to set the dinner table each day? Did you sit down as a family for dinner? Meal Time provides an opportunity to connect with others. You know, it's funny, just the other day I was talking to my son about this because he asked me, did you used to have dinner at the table with your family and I said yes we did all the time <laughs> so it's sad that the tradition kind of slowly just you know disappeared but I hope that it comes back memorabilia Monday so if you have anything out there to remember and reminisce about bring it out and talk about it Sagittarius Archer 
in the astronomical astrological zodiac that divides the sun's apparent orbit into 12 segments the period of november 22nd december 21st is traditionally identified as the sun's sign of sagittarius the archer and sad anniversary on this day in 1963 President John F. Kennedy was assassinated while riding in a motorcade in Dallas, Texas. Where were you when you heard the news? You know, I've heard many stories when I worked in the retirement home. I know I bring it up a lot, but I've learned a lot from them. And I remember they used to share the stories, where they were, what they were doing when these events happened. It was very interesting to learn and to know what they were doing. Ella Fitzgerald wins amateur night at the Apollo. On this day in 1934, Ella Fitzgerald performed on stage for the first time at the Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York. Despite being nervous, she won the contest and soon became a star. And who shot JR anniversary? Who remembers that? Who shot JR? On this day in 1980, a record 86.6 .6 million viewers watched CBS hit drama Dallas to see who shot J.R. Irwin, which was Larry Hagman. And Charles de Gaulle birth anniversary. On this day in 1890, Charles de Gaulle was born in Lille, France. He served as a general during World War II, leader of Free France after the war, and later was elected president of France. We have Man of La Mancha debut. The production of Man of La Mancha opened in New York City for the first time on this day in 1955. Man of La Mancha ran for 2,328 performances and won five Tony Awards. It returned to Broadway four times and was so popular that it was made into a film in 1972. And lastly, we have Tennis Great Day. Today is birth anniversary, 1943, of Billie Jean King, and we just spoke about her. Okay, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the Daily Chronicles and the special days, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.